What's going on everybody? It is your boy here, Controversy. And today guys, I'm going to be reacting to Freddie Gibbs and the Alchemist Man. Something to rap about featuring Tyler the Creator Man. If you guys don't know who uh, Freddie Gibbs is, he's basically um, a rapper man that came out with the Grammy nominated album called Alfredo, which is a collaboration album by Freddie Gibbs and super producer The Alchemist. Um, you know, he's the alchemist is a producer that I'm pretty sure has produced for Eminem before Um, yeah, man, Freddie Gibbs, man, if you guys haven't heard of this dude, I would say he's like, uh I mean, he's like mainstream, but he's also underground as well, you know He kind of has this really raw underground sound in him And yeah, man, this album, um, album Alfredo was nominated for, uh, best rap album of the year And for 2020, um well, yeah, I was nominated for Best Rap Album of the Year, man, at the Grammys. So, yeah, man. And, um, I was, and I, and I was listening to it, you know, because, like, some people were saying that, you know, like, the album's pretty good. And I was listening to it, man, and this song stuck out to me so much. But, yeah, man, something, something to rap about. Let's get to it. Oh, that also has this really chill beat to it, which I really like. Yeah, man, and the interesting thing about Freddie Gibbs, man, is that, you know, he has this really sort of raw flow. Um, I, I like his flow, man. He's really good, to be honest. Like, I got into him, I would say, like a month ago. You know, there was a lot of talk about him last year, you know, when this album came out. A lot of good songs, you know. Um, yeah, man, I actually got introduced to him from Hip Hop Universe, man. If you guys know that channel, you know, he put um, top, uh, I think, top 20 best rap songs of the year or something like that and yeah man he has really good content i got introduced to freddie gibbs through him and yeah man and the interesting thing about freddie gibbs is that he was a rapper that was uh signed to interscope in 2006 but eventually was dropped from the label and his first album was shelved and yeah man so what you mad about I fucked the twice in Vegas That pussy one shit to brag about And I can't drop a shit But I knocked the bitch out of pain and sit Magnums and some sweet aromatics Yeah, bitch, I came to call you suck and shit No whole miss with Joe and Christmas exchanging gifts She don't like your bitch to punch out Niggas be changing ships Yeah, these niggas bringing out the old me I'm trying to live in 93 and see Hold up, hold up, I just caught a bar Bitch to punch out Niggas be changing ships your bitch can punch out exchanging ships. Oh man. Okay, what he's saying with that bar is that basically, um, I don't know if this is correct, but you know, it's basically what you do when you clock in, you know, and it's basically what you do when you have a job, you know, punch out like, punch out like what you would do, you know, you, when you have like a time card or something like that. Cause like there's businesses that have like a time card and it tells, you know, what time you clock in and clock out thus you know you put the it's like a paper or something you put the thing like you clock in and then like it punches it i'm pretty sure so punch out like what you would do when you you know when you first go into like what you would do when you go into a job i, I don't know if that makes sense but like but yeah man it's, it's, it's like basically you know clocking in clocking out punch out I'm trying to live to 93 and see the old me. Damn, bro. Those lyrics say a lot, man. Because, you know, Freddie Gibbs is a dude that, um, he, he's like, like many rappers, not many rappers, but like a lot of rappers, you know, he comes from the hood. You know, that's kind of the environment he was raised upon. And, yeah, man. And, like, those lyrics really do say something. You know? And, like, hopefully, you know, in the, hopefully, you know, I don't, I make it to 93. Hopefully, I, I get to... I live to see an old age, you know, because a lot of people in the hood, a lot of people, you know, like that are living that lifestyle, they don't, they die pretty young, man, you know, um, they like, they don't really, and it kind of sucks because like, they don't get to see 
They don't get to, you know, grow old. They don't get to, you know, see a, see a older age, man. Facts. Such that crack, I let them crackers take control of me. Sir, the peace caprice ain't got no heat, man. It was cold, G. Record labels down me 40,000 on my first advance. Fucked up on my taxes, IRS get me your payment plans. Crime fucking pays, but once you paid, you gotta pay the man. Straight survive. Mm, crime fucking pays, but once you pay, you have to pay the man. Crime pays, man, you know, and I, I, I feel like I've heard that before. I've, you know, the, the, the old saying, crime pays, you know, I feel like we've all heard of that before somewhere. Yeah, man, he's basically talking about right there that, you know, basically, you know, my, I guess before the rapping, you know, my illegal activities did pay me, you know, that's crime does technically pay you. Yeah, I mean, if you, if you rob a store or whatever, crime pays, but basically once they pay me, I have to pay the man. Thus, I feel like what he's saying right there is that he has to, you know, at the end of the day, pay his taxes. At the end of the day, he's got to, he has to kind of pay back, even though, like, he receives, but he also has to pay back. I'm pretty sure, yeah. I think that's what he's saying. Oh, let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back a little bit. Crime fucking pays, but once you paid, you gotta pay the man. Straight survival, right hand on the Bible, I won't take the stand. Straight survival, right hand on the Bible, I won't take the stand. Okay, yeah, what he's talking about right there is that straight survival, he's basically saying that, you know, even the crimes that I do, it's basically a way for me to survive, you know, but it's a way for me to, you know, eat, to get money, you know, to eat, get money. And you know that's completely understandable, but and he's and what he means when he says right hand on the Bible, he basically is talking about it's like what you do when we, when you go to court. You know they basically present, they have like they basically you know show you the Bible and they tell you do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So help you God, and then you put um and then you like go like that, and then you put you know it you basically take the oath and you put your right hand on the Bible. You know when you're in court, you know if you've it's, it's when you commit crimes, you know. For real, man. For real. Damn. Yeah. VL niggas trap it out. Lord, let me hit this hole so I have something to rap about. Rip the shit with hoes that I look back and I can laugh about. This shit wasn't no joke sitting in that cage. This shit was dragging out. He ain't go tripping because I'm sitting. Ain't no package out. He robbed a plug, kicked in the door. And you know, bro, you know what I like about Freddie Gibbs, man? I just love his flow, man. Like, I just love the way he raps over these really chill type beats, you know? It's just like, this these really chill type of jazz production. It's like so unique, and I like the song a lot because it's just the whole vibe. I mean, it's just so relaxing. And then you have Freddie Gibbs with the really raw, smooth delivery. It's just, oh, it's just so satisfying to listen to. Clean the mattress out, right back in the trap. These niggas bringing out the old me. I'm trying to live the 93 to see the old I just love the production of this album, man. Like, man, bro. Yo, man, stay tuned for a review, man. Like, it'll be interesting reviewing this album, man. Really interesting. All right, man. We got Tyler now, man. Let's get it, boy. Let's go. What you got for us, Tyler? Hey, yo. All right. Hey, yo. Nell is in the coffin. Ooh. Freddy sent me this shit. Yeah. This sound like the boat I have in And Tyler is the same way too, man. Like he's got also I also love how I also love how like their flows are kind of the same in this song. It just makes the whole song so satisfying. It's just great, man. And the thing is they're not really and the thing is it's like it's it's just so crazy, man. It's just straight bars and everything. Like it's like they're telling a story, but they're just saying like you could probably think you know they're saying random shit in a way but they're not really like they're, they're saying something they're saying something this sound like the boat i haven't bought yet this sound like the moment i jump off it sun shining cold water filling in my pockets this lake water better than the faucet i grew up with we hold our breath like grudges till we nauseous we hop out let the sun dries like raisins to get dressed in some we hop out at the sun dries like raisins oh <laughs> yo man tyler with the bars man yeah, man, he, you know, it's he's basically just referring to, you know, raisins because, you know, raisins are dry, you know. So, yeah, man, that's what he's talking about. Oh, my God. Gucci or Lacoste shit is amazing. We look like polo ads, but skin is dark. I gotta move cautious because niggas malicious. They come from the trenches. I used to Max. be a goblin under them bridges. Now I'm a businessman. I used to be a goblin, but under them bridges. Now I'm a businessman. 
Okay, Goblin. I feel like he's referring to his 2011 album, Goblin. Yeah, I'm pretty, yeah, I'm pretty sure. I started getting moon ass younger, now I got bigger hands. I hold them if I got too much on me, I know my niggas can. I keep my yeah. circle tight like tops. Nothing corn, no crops. You messy and get cleaned up with the mop. Yeah, you're messy, you get cleaned up with the mop, man. Damn, you messy, you get cleaned up with the mop, for real, man. Yeah, he's basically saying right there that if you, like, screw up, you know, you do something, you know, then you're, you're gonna get, like, cleaned up is i feel like that's like another metaphor saying that you you know you're gonna get killed you're gonna get beat up and all and the second meaning to that bar is like saying that you're gonna get cleaned up if you're messy you know like what you would do with a mop you know clean up if you spill something for real man ah. school and i ain't miss it a lot so i can be around niggas like you and learn how to keep my distance Cut some niggas off off some hater shit niggas said to me R.I.P.T.'s cause these motherfuckers is dead to me Nellas in the coffin, murder murder I'm sick of y'all niggas and I ain't coughing I know me y'all often Ooh I'm sick of all you I'm sick of all you people And I'm not coughing you know me often Ugh, I'm sick of all of you but I'm not coughing man <laughs> You know it's that that's basically another you know coronavirus bar You know it's yeah, it's like, it's like I'm sick of all of you guys. Like, like somebody who likes, like somebody when they're sick, they're coughing. I'm sick of all of you, but I'm not coughing. You know, sick. Anxious, lost in y'all thoughts, and I don't relate. So keep that energy away from me. Don't blame me, cause you ain't got it figured out. You ain't got the bigger house. The jig is up. You jealous dog? My afro long. I pick it out like cotton on some basic shit. Is my afro is my my afro long i pick it out like cotton damn he, that right there he's talking about his afro uh, i don't does he did a tyler creator ever have an afro like did he ever have an afro i don't remember that i mean i, I remember seeing a picture where i don't know yo comment down below if he ever had an afro because like i don't ever remember seeing tyler in an afro yo man but he's basically saying with the, that bar that you know he picks shit off his afro like what you would do when you pick cotton, you know? Damn, bro, these bars are so self-explanatory, man. But they're, they're oh, good. We ain't adjacent. I'm grounded like the pavement. We ain't linking like the bracelet broke. Oh, I'm grounded like the pavement. We're not linking like the bracelet. Oh, right there, he's saying that he's grounded. Thus, he's in a he's in a stable foundation in his life. You know, he feels like, I guess, emotionally, he feels. In peace i would say grounded thus but and also referring to like the ground on the pavement grounded on the pavement the ground on the pavement and also he what he means with the other bar we're not linking like the bracelet bro he's talking about that me and you don't really connect like we don't really have the same ideas but we also don't connect like what you would do with a bracelet you know linking because a bracelet is like something that's linked together to you know fit around your um wrist man damn bro oh my god man i remember when i damn it's crazy tyler man get your wrist at home on the thoughts you get and go the fuck away because niggas get their faces broke i just got a thumbs up and niggas go like good job you better find a shoe store and get your soul get it quick slip it on and i'll be a mykonos lemonade sipping slow jumping in the water off that boat i haven't bought yet off the boat he hasn't bought yet damn Yo, man, that was a one take two, bro. Crazy. <laughs> Let me hear this bars, though. I meant to say It's interesting. Let's go back a little bit. Hold up. He he said something that really doesn't make any sense. Wait. <laughs> okay, so right here, it sounds like he's saying, Let me hit that. Wait a minute. I'm gonna turn on oh man i can't turn on captions like it sounds like he's saying he it sounds like he's saying let me hit that wait a minute <laughs> let me hear that okay yeah i see i feel like he's saying let me hit that and that's like something somebody would say you know when they say that hey yo like pass me the blunt you know it's something that somebody would say when when they want to smoke but the interesting thing about tyler is that the dude does not smoke like he said in interviews before that he doesn't smoke but like, that's 
But like what he said right there, let me hit that. If he is saying that, I'm not sure because it sounds like he's saying something else. It sounded right there that it sounded right there that he wanted to smoke. I don't know, man. Because like I mean, I I've heard before that Tyler does not smoke, you know. So that's kind of contradictive. But I don't know. I meant to say Mykonos. Whatever, man. Bro, I love the way this song feels, man. Damn. So relaxing, man. It's like a it's like a beat that's not all over your face, man. You know, it's just chill, just laid back, man. I, and I feel like that's how you know music should be nowadays. Music should just you know be something you can just chill, lay back to, just relax to. You know, sometimes you know you have songs that are just like all up in your face. You know, you got these fucking crazy ass fucking beats and shit. You know, with drill, the fucking trap, and all that. So sometimes you know that's just in your face, and it's just, it can get aggressive sometimes, and it's just not. I don't know. I don't know, man. Like this beat is just so laid back. It's nice. Mm -hmm. It's just so chill, man. The thing, the thing. Hey, all right. The song's basically over. You know that sort of um that last um. 14 seconds is just basically like a it's basically a sample that's gonna lead on to the next song for real man yo man but there you guys have it man freddie gibbs and the alchemist something to rap about featuring tyler the creator man yo man i, I like the song man it's all it has to be my favorite song off this album man yo man but thank you guys for watching yo and if you guys want me to react to more freddie gibbs or tyler the creator man comment down below man you know freddie gibbs got some has some pretty good stuff out tyler the creator you know um loved um his igor album it's a pretty good album man so yo if you guys want me to react to stuff from that or um stuff from freddie gibbs's alfredo album let me know in the comment section down below thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video